guys, thank you so much for coming back. Welcome to Crypto India, and uh, this is a channel that we talk about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, altcoin, ICOs, news developments. So, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you have seen my last couple of videos where I have spoken to you guys about the top five cryptocurrencies that I think can uh, top up this year. There is a huge opportunity for uh, for uh, as an investment. Uh, and also, uh, in, I have also spoken to you guys about a couple of risks that you really need to take care of in terms of pricing, in terms of holding it, and in terms of transacting it. So I, I hope that was helpful. In this video today, I wanted to give you a small, uh, uh, this is just my opinion. Uh, I have been seeing Litecoin for quite a while. In the last week, it has gone up by about $20 already. It's trading about 40 now it's at 60 and one of the reason is uh, that uh, I'm not sure if how many of you guys aware of this uh, technology called Lightning Network, which is basically an off-chain solutions uh, to scale up uh, a currency, you know, to make the transactions even faster. And in fact, uh, it is a similar proposition that that has been proposed for the Bitcoin also. Uh, but as of now, it's 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 working on the Litecoin, and because of the Lightning active network being activated on Litecoin, the transactions have become faster. So we have two sides now. You have Bitcoin on the other side, which have about a transaction fee about a five dollar plus, eight dollar sometimes, about ten dollar sometimes, and on the other hand, you have Litecoin, which has negligible transactions fee and uh, litecoin has been there from right from 2012 was invented in 2012 uh, but didn't have a lot of growth uh, in the last couple of years but all of a sudden i see that litecoin jumped about 20 dollars so looking at the current scenario right now i i i think that the litecoin may touch about 200 or 300 usd in in in, in the coming few months so uh, and that's the prediction from most of the expert in the in the uh, industry so i i thought i'll keep you guys updated on that so keep a very close eyes on litecoin it may just be the next uh, next best currency and uh, secondly i want to talk to you guys about russia now russia has went on to say that uh, they would be uh, considering of uh, putting a stop or putting up a ban on on bitcoin and cryptocurrencies now this is a very contradictory contradictory statement because russia has been russia has been playing very funny honestly because they were actually they were the first one to uh, declare uh, bitcoin and cryptocurrencies being illegal and they banned it in fact back in 2014 or 15 uh, they banned it literally that there was no transactions of uh, bitcoin and cryptocurrencies at all but uh, but in the December 2016, again, they were the first one to declare that, okay, we are going to regulate Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies because there is, it's a new technology and we will uh, we really see a great future. And the result of that announcement of regulating Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, they went on to actually uh, make a statement wherein they were actually planning to set up a mining farm. In, in, in fact, they raised $100 million dollar you know to to set up a mining farm in russia uh, this is just about two months back okay and again uh, the news comes out from yesterday that they are actually thinking that the investors are on a risk the investors are putting their money and on their they're on a very big risk so that is why therefore they want to just ban it uh, so there have been contradictory statement from russia and they first they said no then they said yes again they said no so it's pretty funny uh, I, I don't know what exactly they would decide but one thing that we need to sure uh, be sure of that uh, cryptocurrencies and bitcoin cannot be banned unless and until you actually block the internet itself and uh, just imagine what's the point of uh, banning something in one country which is which is probably growing in the rest of the countries and uh, you know so it is actually going to hamper the economy of that country where where it has banned people from transacting because the rest of the world it's still growing and because it's based on the internet so it does not need any boundaries 
so uh, it does not know any boundaries so it is built on internet as long as you have internet on any of the country you can operate on cryptocurrencies so uh, uh, banning them it doesn't make sense for any country rather they can put some regulations in terms of sack taxation in terms of uh, other things i think that will benefit in government more than uh, trying to ban it that that is not going to be possible at all unless and until you actually ban the internet itself which is next to impossible so uh, this this was the news from uh, russia and this was the news about uh, what can happen with litecoin in the in the near future let me know what else would you like to hear uh, i really see neo uh, being a very good potential this year so uh, that's one thing so let me let me know what else would you want to hear or any uh, any questions that you have what are your thoughts and opinions on uh, altcoins and what are the altcoins that you are trading on uh, just come in below and uh, let me know let's be connected let's spread the knowledge and wealth so uh, thank you so much for watching this one i'll see you in my next video and uh, if you haven't subscribed on this channel click on subscribe and i always share share with your friends who are involved in cryptocurrency so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next video